Classical physics is the world around us, so it seems obvious that if I was to let go of a ball, it would fall, it would then hit the floor, it would squash a bit, and bounce back upwards. Quantum mechanics is literally the way small particles work, and it's not obvious that light is both a wave and a particle at the same time. In fact, it depends how you look at the light as to whether it behaves like a particle or a wave. When you're not looking, or rather measuring, the light, it collapses back into the unknown of both a wave and a particle. Which direction is up? Now you might think this is a ridiculous question, because the sky is up and the ground is down. But it's not so simple, because the Earth is a sphere. The upwards direction, while you're on the North Pole, is the downward direction for someone on the South Pole. So it's relevant to the person you're talking about. The spin on a very small particle is not up nor down, but depends on the other particle. The fact that two particles have up or down spin doesn't matter, but the fact they're opposite spin is crucial. When two very small particles are made at the same time, they become entangled. They have a connection. In the same way that light is both a wave and a particle, both particles can be thought of as spinning up and down at the same time. The connection the two particles have is called quantum entanglement. You can think of this as the two particles are connected by very stretchy spaghetti. They can get further apart, and they're still connected. Quantum entanglement is what made Einstein coin the phrase spooky action at a distance. This is not because Halloween is around the corner, but instead is described as spooky, because when you measure which way one of the particles is spinning, it's always true that the second entangled particle will have the opposite spin, instantly, and regardless of the distance between the two particles. Einstein could not explain this with his theory of relativity, and it seemed the spaghetti transmitted information faster than the speed of light, which was spooky in his eyes.